new plan uh, that's available now called E5. And so what E5 is bringing to us is really a, a base of four products. So Skype meeting broadcast to allow us to take meetings like what we're having today for 30, 40, 50 people. Uh, we can ma that, that maxes out at 250. But with our new Skype meeting broadcast, it's newly available. We can now reach up to 10,000 people for very large meetings. So if you have customers who, you know, they have large webinars or they want to be able to broadcast out to very large uh, meeting thresholds, at Microsoft, we have meetings all the time where 250 just isn't enough. So for us, we, we need to have something a little bit bigger and better. Uh, PSTN conferencing and being able to use toll in, uh, toll dial in numbers uh, to join meetings, uh, just like we have for today. Uh, we have dial out capabilities. So if we want to call somebody uh, to add them to our call, we can do that. The cloud PBX and then PSTN calling. So these are the new features that we're adding into E5. And so let's really take a look. So we mentioned the E3 uh, stack earlier. Uh, with E3, you know, we now get that unlimited business class email and calendar. We talked about 50 gigabits earlier. That comes with the E1 plan. Now E3 and E5 both have unlimited plans for email. Uh, some of the other new features that we see, um, so, e, so uh, an analytics for e-discovery, secure attachments, access control, uh, org analytics, the cloud PBX, PSTN conferencing. So we get the entire suite of E5 for $35. We'll, we'll dive into a little bit more about what some of those features are. But then if a customer wants to add in the PSTN calling feature, uh, it's $24 a month for an international plan. And then in the, the small print on the bottom, it says it's $12 a month if they just want a, a, a US only plan. So it'll either be $12 or $24 a month additional on top of the $35 for up to 3,000 minutes a month. And we'll, we'll get into a little bit more about that. Now, if customers already have Office 365 and they want to just add a Cloud PBX or they just want to add PSTN conferencing or PSTN calling, uh, we do have those plans available. So they are standalones. Uh, so if, if you have customers who say, I'm already on Office 365, I just want to add a couple more features, uh, they can just mix and match them as they like. So if we look at PSTN conferencing, just as, a, as an included service plan, they get told dial in and domestic dial out. It, they, we do have a usage build per minute if they want a toll free dial in and an international dial out. So we'll look at some of those numbers and exactly what they are. Uh, the PSTN calling, so included in the domestic plan, they get domestic calling. Included in the international plan, they get domestic and international calling. And then if, if they go over the usage, uh, there is a surcharge. So the usage is on the domestic side, 3,000 minutes a month per user. So let's say the, the company has uh, 10 users. The way that that works is it's a pooled usage. So if they have 3,000 minutes a month per user times 10, so that would mean they'd have 30,000 minutes a month for those 10 users. If they've got a couple people in accounting and HR and they don't use the phone that much and they've got the salespeople are using the phone a lot more, then they have 30,000 minutes for the entire company to use. And then anything that goes over that, they'll, they'll have that additional charge. On the international plan, they get 600 additional minutes that they can use for international calling before they, they uh, and 600 minutes per user pooled. Uh, so if they've got 10 users, then they'll have 6,000 minutes that they can use for international calling. International calling would be, of course, anyone outside of the country that they're calling in. So if you have some, some companies who maybe they have some US based and maybe they have some England based employees, uh, if they call into England from the U.S., then that would be international. The people from England, whenever they're calling inside of England, that would be uh, that would be considered domestic. And then anytime they call out for that user, that would be considered the international. Okay. So this uh, the consumption. It is built on consumption. So we do a look back period each month. Uh, so they have the ability to uh, to use the service, and then we pay that they would pay their bill at the end of the month, depending on how much usage they went over. So included in the plans, again, told dial-in conferencing. That's included told dial-out conferencing for domestic. That is included. If they need international for conferencing, told dial-out, uh, that is charged per minute on a consumption basis. Toll-free conferencing, domestic and international, is both per minute. And then PSTN calling, inbound, outbound, domestic, and international is included. But if they go over that 3,000 minutes a month for domestic or 600 minutes a month, and remember, those are pooled, then there is a, a charge per minute that goes over. All right, so then if you're asking, OK, well, how much how much are these excess minutes uh, for the US? It's not very expensive. We're looking about 1.4 cents a minute once they go over 
the 3,000 minutes a month pooled. So, and then this is also for the conferencing, the PSTN conferencing. So if they need to, to add in that toll-free dial, dial in, or if, uh, and then that would be for mobile or landline. So here's the international rates. So if we look at uh, the US to UK would be 2.6 cents. You can just kind of uh, follow it along so that uh, from the US would be just be right there, the first, first column. Uh, if you look down the row, uh, how much does each call cost to whichever country? Uh, you guys will have these slides you'll be able to look through, but it gives you a detailed synopsis of where they're calling from and where they're calling to and how much those rates would be. Now some additional things that we've added into the E5 suite. Uh, Power BI Pro, we talked earlier about Excel and some of the amazing things that Excel is doing, but now with the E5 suite, we have a new tool called Power BI Pro. Uh, the way this works is it's, uh, it's executive dashboards. Uh, companies need to better understand the data that they have as data is continuing to grow. In fact, it, it grows twice. The, the data that we have in the world grows 2x every two years. So when we look at the, the total number of data, how do we consume this and how do we make the best decisions? Now using tools like Power BI Pro with, with analytics and just being able to have a snapshot of what's going on in the organization, whether it's operations or sales or marketing, let's take a look at what's going on out there so we can make the better decisions for our companies. This is included now in the E5 suite. If you have customers who might be interested in a Power BI, uh, they can just go to powerbi.com and it's actually a freemium model where they can actually build out a Power BI dashboard and it can be using any type of database. It could be using even Excel, it could use Access, it could use SQL Server, Oracle, Salesforce, CRM, anything that you'd like to connect to. They can create their own dashboard and then if they want to share it out, that's when they would need the professional version and that's included in E5. So it's a great tool. If you guys are coming to our training we're doing on Thursday in uh, Los Angeles, I'll go a little bit deeper into it, maybe show a demo of how cool the Power BI tool is. Delve Analytics allows you to see what's going on within your organization so you can improve personal and company uh, productivity. You get an analysis on who is connecting with which parts of the companies, how fast are people responding to emails, uh, you can get an idea of what types of things people are working on. So if you have somebody who's an expert in different areas, uh, you can see the, the documents that they're working on so you can collaborate on those much easier. Very cool uh, tool for especially mid-size and larger companies to use to, to help get the most out of their, their work environments. Three other things uh, here. Customer lockbox allows a customer to lock down their their data that they have in their environment. If companies like Microsoft or CalNet is going to be actually inside of their environment, they want to make sure that their, their data is protected. They can actually lock it down so when someone's doing any, any, remote, any remote work, then no one has access to that data. Advanced threat protection, we see a lot of things uh, that come into our emails that uh, maybe they're malware, and we want to make sure that those, those, uh, those links are protected for those end users. So with advanced threat protection, anytime a link comes into an inbox, what happens before the user actually gets to the site. If they click on that link, it actually sends it to a, an Azure database to look and see, hey, we, we, we're running all every link that goes into every email to make sure that there's no malware or virus attached to it. If it is, we're, we're able to find out in real time before a user actually gets sent to those pages. So advanced threat protection is now included in the E5 suite to help keep our customers uh, secure uh, for the long run. And then the analytics for e-discovery, uh, especially for legal holds and, and doing different lookups. So if you're if you're wanting to take a look at uh, email threadings and uh, cluster technologies to identify you know data relationships between things that are in in your e email box, it's all there for you. So all of these things that are part of E5, just just like we talked about earlier with the Cloud PBX and the PSTN calling and conferencing are, are uh, available uh, on a standalone SKU. Same with all the other things that we've just talked about. They're all available at an add-on pricing. So customers already have maybe a, an E1 SKU and they, they don't necessarily need everything else and they just want to add in uh, Power BI Pro. That's available for them as a standalone at $10 a month. So you guys can take a look through some of those products. But some of the things that you'll look at uh, as, you, as you're talking to your customers, are they currently using Microsoft on-premises servers? It's probably a good time to, to ask them, hey, have you thought about using the cloud or you thought about using Office 365 and, and stop supporting the infrastructure that you have on-premises? Are they interested in getting started in the cloud? Are they using consumer emails like Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail? If they're doing business with those types of emails, let's get them onto an enterprise-grade email server where they have a lot more flexibility, a lot more options. And then are they buying licensing from another VAR, but you know, 
potentially they'd like to switch over to you. These are things, uh, questions that you can ask your customers. And if you find that hey, they're answering them in the right way, pass the lead over to CalNet.